play mode. So, fishing. so how's it been? Early enrollee? And, uh, uh, it's been uh, it's been smooth. Uh, the transition from high school to college is definitely different, but. The coaches all around us and the staff all around us have adapted us very well and kind of pulled us slowly into that process. So it's been good getting along. Everything's been smooth. How soon did you have your, oh, man, I'm in college moment? From a football standpoint, from a, the training and all the other stuff. I would say our probably first moment probably came in second, third week probably. Just the kind of the conditioning kicked in. Those 100s, they'll get you, man, I'm telling you. <laughs> How about from a food perspective? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, get me hungry. Food. First <laughs> day we got here, uh, they make sure we eat three times a day, if not more. So I kind of really wasn't used to that. I kind of just ate when I ate. So kind of getting in that, meeting with the nutritionist, Amber and all them, Izzy. So they kind of pushed that on us and kind of eating three times a day, all them food. So, so it's, more, it's more regimented? Yeah. But di didn't they, before you came in, didn't they kind of – give you some things to eat to sort of get you prepared? Yeah, they kind of, we we got here on your visits, they talked with the Amber and Izzy, all their nutritionists, so they kind of weighed it out for you, told you how they do things and kind of what was best for you and kind of where they wanted your weight pictured up. So, Vori, some of us are old enough to remember your dad. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> heck of a player. Uh, remember watching him with the Lions and the Panthers? Like, how is he, how is, what kind of influence has he been to you? Just, I know it sounds silly, he's your dad, but like, you know, I'm sure this is a guy you looked up to. Did he did he help train you growing up? Just just tell us about your relationship with yeah, him. Yeah, I would say uh, growing up, I didn't start playing football until eighth grade, so he kind of never was the one to kind of push me into football. I was always a baseball player, so okay. he kind of just let me go on my own path. And then one day I decided to pick up the football, and he just kind of took it from there. So we spent late nights kind of just talking about stuff after games, practices. He kind of just mentored me through all that. So he went through this whole process, so he was a helpful man kind of going through this thing. So it was great to have somebody that's been through that process and my brother to kind of just help me through this. Right. It was going to be my next question was, was how helpful was he with the recruiting process? I'm sure he's not wowed by yeah. You know some of the coaches that are coming in. You know, he's, you know, it's not like his, his eyes aren't huge. Like, what was what was that like having him sort of in your corner and, and guiding you uh, as a recruit? Uh, it was amazing. Kind of a lot of kids don't have the, that opportunity, so I was extremely grateful for that to have somebody to kind of lead me through that process and kind of just show me the ropes of things. You know, everything you see through uh, recruitment is not always going to be true. So he was kind of one to point that out to me and kind of show that to me and. That kind of just helped me with my final decision. He was never the one to kind of, oh, I want you to go here, I want you to go here. He's like, this is your decision at the end of the day. Right. It's for you, and I'm not going to push you anyway. So. It's cool, yeah. How about now that you're here and you give him feedback about some of the experiences, yeah. how has he helped you since you've gotten here knowing, hey, this is a different world for you now. you got to be able to suck it up and deal with it. Uh, like I said, he was never one to kind of push me anything. So he kind of, the first couple of weeks, he kind of just let me go on my own, kind of get the ropes of things. And he, you know, calls every once in a while. We check in. We talk about things, football aspects and just life aspects. So he's been great since I got here. My family, my sister, my brother, my mom, all of them, they've all been helpful for since I got here. So it's been great. A uh, pretty good group of guys coming in wide receivers with Jordan and Alex. How's it been meeting with them so far and doing drills with them? Oh, it's been great. Uh, we all kind of knew each other before we got here, so we kind of built that relationship coming in here. And then once we got here, you know, it's all competition at the end of the day, so we're battling each other. We're going to get each other all the time. So, I mean, we come in at the end of the day, we're friends, we live together. So, it's all been good. Hey, you're all from North Carolina. Do you ever play against each other in high school? Uh, we never played against each other. I know they played 7-on-7, seven seven, but I was always with Trevor Baseball. So, I never got to play against them, but I know they did. Some good programs. Yeah, I'm sure there's, you know, like – you know, Grimsley, Crest, you know, those are those are the best of the best in this state. I'm sure there's some good-natured smack talk maybe between who had the better high school days, stuff like that. <laughs> we hear it every day over yep. the cafe. I always talking about all oh, my high school would have beat yours, my high school would have right. beat yours. So we hear it every day, but you never really know now at this point. So Yeah. What what has it what was it like? You, were you here for the bowl practices? Uh, I wasn't here for the practices. I came for the game, the day of the game and kind of was just with the team. What – who would you say that you model your game after? Is there anyone you look up to as a receiver, whether it's a college receiver, NFL receiver, whoever, and, and that you would like to try to emulate with, with sort of your skills? Uh, I'd say it's particularly from here, a guy from the past would be Josh Downs. Kind sure. Of growing, coming, coming through this recruiting process, they kind of modeled me after him and kind of said, this is what your game – we want your game to be and how we're going to kind of push you and kind of elevate your game towards him. So – he was a great player here. He was a great role model. Um, I hear great stories about him. So 
I'm always watching his film, kind of just seeing what he was doing when he was here and kind of just trying to base myself off of that and lead into that role. The quick t twitch on Josh Downs yeah, was sir. just nuts. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's sure. nobody was getting in and out of a break quicker than that dude. Yeah, it's something you, it's something that can't be taught, so you just kind of got to – you got to be born with that stuff. So. Yeah. so I imagine you've had enough reps with Connor and Max now. Give mm -hmm. us a little scouting report on what it's like to run around, catch a ball for Connor as opposed to Max. I mean, it's uh, crazy. Both of those guys are great quarterbacks. You know, one's coming from the right side, one's coming from the left. So they both can throw it too. So it's fun running down, deep down that field and just watching them throw it. So uh, it's kind of different coming from high school to college and seeing those different type of quarterbacks. and. Everybody has their own kind of play style. So, like I said, they're both great quarterbacks. Both got good arms. Both great decision makers. And they're both great guys at the end of the day. Had you ever caught balls from a lefty before? Uh, no, that was my first time. It was kind of weird adjusting to it. But, you know, you get the hang of it after a while. How so. quickly did it take? Um, and what is the adjustment? Is it just – Yeah, does it spin different? It's kind of just like – kind of. I guess it kind of tails different. Deep balls, it kind of tails different. So, you right. just kind of got to adjust yourself to it. But uh, it really didn't take that long, I would say. Got there a couple reps, maybe a day or two with them, and everything was good. Thanks, man. Appreciate it.